Welcome to Unging Finance. Today, guys, we're talking about full self-driving. We're going to examine this article. It claims that General Motors, yes, GM, is the superior leader in self-driving technology, leaving Tesla pretty much in the dust. And we're going to discuss what Tesla really needs to do in the next year or two to catch up, to regain their hype, and basically to justify their valuation. General Motors semi-autonomous technology operates by amalgamating information from standard array of cameras and LiDAR sensors with mapping data. Amalgamating basically means they're just combining all these things into one big package. So General Motors is really using several things combined that Tesla is not. Tesla is relying purely on Tesla vision on cameras and a radar. While General Motors has moved away from that, they're using LiDAR, they're using GPS and mapping, they're using cameras as well, and they're using some sort of radar. So General Motors is basically combined all of this into one big package. And GM is only charging $2,500 for these full self-driving capabilities or a monthly subscription fee of $25. If you compare that to Tesla full self-driving, Tesla is costing, Tesla is charging $15,000 for their full self-driving package. Super Cruise embraces LiDAR light detection and raging technology which uses lasers to map out the vehicle's surroundings in detail. These radio waves detect objects and their motion to identify whether they will cross paths with the car. So LiDAR is basically just uh, shooting lasers all around the vehicle. If those lasers bounce back, it basically means it has detected something and it will take appropriate action. Now Tesla and Elon Musk have famously shunned LiDAR. They're basically saying it's unnecessary, it's too expensive, and it will be obsolete in the future. Musk has said that his space company, SpaceX, utilizes LiDAR heavily, so he knows what he's talking about. So it remains to be seen in the future if he's right or if GM's approach is more correct. I see here in contrast, Tesla Autopilot and FSD predominantly rely on cameras and radar systems. However, they often fall short in low visibility scenarios such as inclement weather or poor lighting conditions. So sometimes if there's snow, if there's thunder, if there's rain, they might block out the view of these cameras and car by, by using only a radar might not be as accurate as in seeing things that are coming at it as opposed to having a LiDAR which is constantly working, constantly measuring distance between a car and other objects around it. So Tesla has basically claimed that radar and cameras are like a human mind, basically cameras are eyes, and if we can as humans operate with perfect, uh, well not perfect, but if we can operate a vehicle to really good capacity, then he argues just by using cameras, a vehicle should be able to do the same, especially if it has a supercomputer brain. Now that's what Tesla is really betting on. Tesla is basically betting that their supercomputer now they're saying it might be combined with some sort of artificial intelligence and those two super, pro super computer processing power and, and artificial intelligence will be powerful enough to drive the self, to drive itself, basically to drive the vehicle under any conditions, which is actually a limitation of GM's cruise. Cruise uses geofencing. Geofencing is a virtual boundary distinguished by geographic coordinates. Cadillac has created a collection of highly detailed maps that include information about the road network and specific areas where Super Cruise is enhanced to operate. These maps are stored on board of the vehicle's computer. So basically, a Super Cruise system becomes available for activation when Cadillac enters a geofenced area. And the Super Cruise system cannot be used outside of geofenced areas. So General Motors with Cadillac has basically mapped out these areas in detail. They are basically uh, that have gotten the measurements of the roads, of the distance of roads between buildings, of all the road signs, of all the road obstacles, and they basically filmed that and mapped it out and put it on the computer. So once you enter that area that's been mapped out by GM Cruise, you can pretty much relax and let the car do most of the driving for you. However, there are limitations. This, this GM self-driving will only work in these geofenced areas. So GM will pretty much have to map out and film the entire world and put it in a computer. Now that, that may be feasible, but it, it will be a lot of work. Whereas Tesla is taking a whole different approach. Now Tesla is basically not doing this. Tesla is just saying, if we have a supercomputer combined with artificial intelligence, they can just use cameras and 
radars and just drive itself on any road in the world. We don't have to map all of these things out. We don't have to geofence our areas. We don't have to force our vehicles to only work in these specific areas. We can let our car drive itself anywhere. So basically Autopilot and FSD by Tesla have advocated a very aggressive approach towards full autonomy. This potentially outpaces the comfort level and readiness of both drivers and regulatory firms across the world. Super Cruise by General Motors force that approach serves as a model for the industry and showcases the significance of pacing autonomous evolution in conjunction with social preparedness. So basically this article is saying GM is playing it safe and GM will most likely prevail in their quest for full self-driving in the future before Tesla does. However, if Tesla actually develops this supercomputer in conjunction with artificial intelligence and basically combines it with their cameras and radars, and then Tesla will definitely be a clear winner because they will be able to self-drive their vehicles anywhere in the world. And Tesla is claiming as soon as they have this supercomputer optimized, they can just update it to all the vehicles that have the hardware and basically they will have a full self-driving taxi fleet. So GM, let's mention GM also has a self-driving fleet through GM Cruise. It's operational in San Francisco currently where they have geofenced it. So they're already doing self-driving taxis, whereas Tesla is just not even un unveiled anything regarding self-driving taxis. They're nowhere, at least General Motors is making strides, they're making progress. We'll see how Tesla does in the future. So that's it guys, we're just reporting a new update on self-driving vehicles. This is an exciting field and will probably be coming sometime in the future. If you guys have any questions or if you wanna comment and let me know what you think about self-driving, please leave a comment below. Guys, like, subscribe, and share, and as always, just have a great day.